Richard, no, I know you get tired of me constantly talking about how much I love curry, but I just love curry so much. Do you love curry? I love curry. I thought so. But what I like to do is change it and experiment. And today I'm going to do a pumpkin and apple curry. Because traditionally you'd have a little teaspoon of white sugar in most curries, but you get that sweetness from that apple naturally, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Now I'm going to get you cracking, so start with the apple. Okay. I want you to just take that skin off because we don't want that roughness of the skin. And I just want you to cube that as well, a bit of pumpkin and some potato. Again, you can use this with any seasonal veg you've got. Use some sweet potato, use taro, whatever you want to. Nice base, like every curry, we've got some onion and garlic here. So we're just gonna slice this one here. Now, I don't know what it is about curry, but I just find it complete comfort food. It's just really easy to be vegetarian if you know how to make curries. There's all sorts that you can do. Really easy to slip protein in there as well. Now, not the sort of protein that I like, though. Not the sort of protein that you like, but do you know what? This base of any vegetarian curry, you can just add whatever meat that you want in there. So I've just heated up a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. You can use ghee, you can use coconut oil as well there too. In we go with that lovely white onion. We'll just get another one here. And it's a lot easier when you've got someone helping you doing all the dicing it's and chopping, doesn't it? It's a lot easier. Now, I'm going to actually, a bit different for me, have a bit of a mild curry with this one. No, it's not a korma. I'm not using any coconut uh, milk or anything like that. But okay. I'm not going to use too much chilli. You don't always have to use spice, like real chilli spice. This is a great curry you could cook for kids as well because it doesn't have the chilli in it. Start them young. Yeah. That's what I think. That's what my parents did. Start me young on those Indian curries and you'll never look back. Now, Rosie, I started eating curry from a very early age. I grew up in Malaysia and I sat on my Indian amas, who was a nanny's knee, and I would eat curry. And I have loved curry every single day ever since. Have you wrote a memoir yet? Because your life is fascinating. You've been everywhere, Richo. <laughs> so in we go with the garlic there too. So now we've got the apple, turmeric there, ginger and potato as well. I'll line all that up for you. That's How's it? it. Now, of course, we do need spice. Now, I'm going to go with just the nice fresh spices here. So I have some turmeric. Brilliant anti-inflammatory properties. It goes that bright, bright yellow, which means lots of nice antioxidants there too. About two tablespoons, really, of this one here. Now, you could use powdered turmeric as well, could you? You can use powdered turmeric. You don't need to use as much when you use powdered because that means it's quite potent. So in we go. Just toast them off a little. Nice bit of ginger. I really love ginger here. So this is a very fresh healthy curry. Not too many fats in it, but lots of lovely, nice fruit and veggies. I tell you what it's also got is a lot of diced vegetables. I've just been gone nuts here dicing. Oh, well done you. You can have a bit of curry as payment, I think, for I'll, that. I'll be expecting it. Yeah, so in we go here. Now, if you could just bring me that broth over gotcha. there. Now, this is quite an interesting one, so I'm using a beef broth, and I'm mainly using it because I want to get some real depth into this curry, some real depth oh. of flavour. Now, the vegetarian stocks are brilliant as well, but if you can go with the beef stock, now this is plant-based beef stock, this before everybody goes, but you're vegetarian! But this is brilliant because it's got all the taste of beef, yet it's completely vegan, how fantastic. I don't like eating beef, but I love the taste of it. That's yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, that's basically that's it. So 500, 500 mil um, of that stock there. And I want you to just get a little two teaspoons of curry powder. Okay. Now, uh, you can use curry paste as well, the pre-made ones, or you can use spices all from scratch, but curry powder is just something that most of us have in our pantry anyway there. Couple of bay leaves as well. You wanna make sure you take them out when you've finished there too. Now, you can top it up with a little bit of water. Just to cover the vegetables. That's it. Now, this is really all that you need to do. So, a bit of salt. I think I've got some pepper over there, if you I could grab me that, that too. In it goes. Lovely stuff. And the last but not least is I am doing a bit of a fusion of vegetables and fruit. I have some lovely raisins in here too, which will just soak everything up, especially that lovely beef broth in there as well. They'll come plump and juicy with plump the beef flavour. Plump and juicy. So we'll just pour ourselves a little glass of Cabernet Sauvignon, something, something nice again that's got nice depth to it too. And we will wait for this one about 45 minutes to one hour, but really nice, low, slow, and a nice simmer. And we'll have that one nice and ready for a bit of rice. Love a glass of red wine. Doesn't that smell divine? It is. It's, it's unique, isn't it? It's different. And that's that apple. You can smell those sugars in there. 
Oh, a little stir. I love the colour as well. It's really, really bright, vibrant yellow. The pumpkin and the turmeric together. That also means it's very, very good for you. So in we go here. Don't you love that it's just plumped up those raisins there too? And it's thickened up quite a bit as well. I know. Well, that's how, what happens with low and slow, isn't it? Bit of sour cream. You don't have to have it, but I think it's delicious. It oh. just kind of adds another tartness to it. But remember, this isn't spicy either, so we don't need to cool anything down. Right, I'm just going to yeah, go straight go into it. the curry because that's what I want to try. Bit of wild rice for me there too. It smells really good. It's got that curry flavour to it, but that sweetness really comes off it. Mm, that is fantastic. It's a soft, gentle curry flavour. Low and slow, it's all cooked beautifully. So that's exactly it. It's a gentle curry. So great for the people that think curry isn't for you. This one is for you. And beefy as well.